but you'll notice the blog post page did not appear in that navigation menu. So how do we add a blog post page to this menu? Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. Well, first we're going to go into our WordPress admin dashboard and we're going to create a new page. So you go under pages and you select add new. We're going to create a new page to store our blog posts because previously the page that stored our blog posts was the home page, but we had to override that. So here, let's just add a title here that says blog. Then I'm going to publish that page and currently it will be at my local host and my site slash blog. All right, we can see the page address right there. Now, how do we make this page actually show the blog post? Because if you click on view page, there's nothing in the blog page, it just says blog. Okay, so for that, we're going to go back into the WordPress admin. We're going to go into settings in our sidebar and select the reading sub tab. Here, you'll notice we set our home page to be overridden, but we didn't override our posts page, which means by default, we have to manually go to the posts. So here we can change this to the blog. So that way we can see all of our posts on the blog page. We didn't put any content ourselves into the blog page except just the title blog. But because we're going to set the in settings that the posts page should be blog, our WordPress is going to automatically take all of the blog posts that we have and put it into this page that we specified. Okay, now we can press save changes and we can preview that page. So I'll go into pages and blog and I will view the blog page. And look at that. Now on the blog page, I can see my blog post, hello world. That was a post created by default by WordPress. If you want to create more posts, you go to posts and then you can just press add new and you can add a new post such as I can say here, web development and then I can put in some content for the post. Welcome to this post about web development. All right, and obviously you'd want to have a longer post. Typically posts that are at least a thousand words do better for search engine optimization. You also want to make use of headings to make it easier for your users to be able to read through the page with headings and then paragraphs as well. Using headings is also good for SEO because headings are considered more important keywords. So you should put keywords into your headings. On the right hand side, you can change up the post like its status and visibility. You can also stick it to the top of the blog if you'd like. We have a template that you can choose for the blog posts. There is a permalink which tells you the link to the blog post. You can put different categories into the blog post. These are just three extra categories I've created. You can add tags and tags are good for search engine optimization. So you should put keywords into tags. You can put a featured image as well as an excerpt and a discussion if you want to allow comments. All right, then if you want to publish this post, you can hit publish in the top right. All right, there we go. Then we can see the post address. And then we can view the post individually. So here we see the post page or we can view all of the posts if we go to our page that was the blog page. So I'm going to go under pages and go into blog and click view. You could also just go to the page directly in your URL by going to your site slash blog. So here's my blog. Now I have two posts in the blog and my theme automatically styled the posts. Now, how do I add this blog page to my main menu? Well, it's just like you would add any page to your main menu. You would go into appearance and then menus. So go into that sub tab. Then here you would go into your menu, our main menu, we just have one. And all we have to do is add a new page to the menu. So we can view all of our pages right here and then select the blog as the page we want to add. I'll click add to menu. And there we go. Now the page is right there at the end of that 
menu. Then you can press save menu, which is going to be at the bottom here of your page. Click save menu. Then if you go into your preview of the website, you can now see you have blog that's been added to the end of the navigation menu and it takes you to the blog. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited Membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.